Cane Corso. Caruso sits on the front porch and watches and waits and waits and watches for the big yellow bus to stop in front of our house. He won't get out of his chair until he sees Bobby and his sister step down. When he sees them, then he will run to meet them at the curb. They are his motivators. His day won't officially start until they are home and play can begin. Thus he becomes a bit impatient if they choose to do homework first or snack before bolting outside to play. The kids are very active and that suits Caruso just fine. He loves to run alongside them as they bicycle over to the field to play. He'll watch inquisitively as they build a fort or hiding place beneath the scrub brush. Then he'll bark continuously when they are out of his sight and he can't find their door to get in. So they either have to come out or let him in, otherwise his barking will betray where they're hiding. He's a great companion for them and makes us feel a lot more secure knowing that he will protect them from strangers. His intelligence is seen by how he will always make the kids come home before dark. Even though keeping track of time is meaningless to the kids, Caruso will hound them until they get the hint that it's time to go home. How he knows, I certainly haven't a clue, but somehow he knows they must be home for dinner before dark. I like that Caruso and the kids are growing up together as a special bond is obviously growing between them. And though I originally got Caruso from me to guard our home and property, it's how he watches over the kids that makes me more than willing to give up my ownership rights to the whole family.